what if your bosses are in a different mindset it's like what if the president of the country is in a different mindset right strongest relationship you should have in your organization is with your boss think about it isn't ultimately the only reason you were recruited to your job that the person recruiting you like you what if your bosses are in a different mindset it's like what if the president of the country is in a different mindset let him be you do what you can for yourself and the people under you that's only what we can control of course you can influence your boss as well how do the same thing help my boss to succeed no no it's true if your boss has a two as one promotion opportunity and there are like say three four people in contention if you are the only one of those four people who has actually helped your boss genuinely who do you think he will remember first who you right it's a no brainer so bosses sometimes we forget by the way and now you are also bosses sometimes the people under you forget we sometimes forget that bosses are also human while we are trying to motivate everyone under us all the time sometimes we need to be motivated also we have down moments there are some moments i think how can i do this and then i'm wishing that there is someone to say sanjeev no you can come on you can do it get up so your boss also has those moments help him or her they are only going to be grateful to you and what are you doing then you are building your bond with your boss the the strongest relationship now this is a tip for you so that you can take something from this and use it for yourself so much already we have discussed you can use for yourself this is something else additional bonus exceed expectations tip for you the strongest relationship you should have in your organization is with your boss if your relationship with your boss is not good no matter how much of good work you are doing you will never succeed sorry to say but true right think about it got the numbers the better if the boss doesn't like you that's it forget it so it comes down to basic human interaction human emotions human whatever feelings beliefs all that see think about it isn't ultimately the only reason you were recruited to your job that the person recruiting you liked you think about it let's say yusuf comes to me for an interview all right i look at his cv his qualifications fantastic everything is great but for that half an hour he spent with me at the interview he annoyed the life out of me now have you had experience like that with people you have a 5 minute conversation and you get a headache how many of you have had yes you have experience now if this guy had a spoke to me for 5 minutes and i have a headache do i want him to be seated next to me every day and give me a headache every day no so he might be the best i won't recruit him because i don't like him are you understand it i like you right <laughs> <laughs> you got the point right so it finally comes down to that